Well, welcome back, ladies and gents, to the show. It's time for match two of the evening here for the European segment for the ECS. I'm joined with, by, with, by, with and by Yanko, <laughs> Mr. Yanko. Has just completed his first cast ever, the inaugural Yanko cast. How was it? Painful. It was painful? I think it wasn't too awful, though. I think it was pretty smooth. I, I expected it to be much worse, honestly. Well, feel free to, to tweet Yanko and let him know <laughs> what an amazing commentator he is. Please, no. And that he should please continue please. this Have and mercy. drop the, the analyst gig. No? Please, All mercy. Right. All right, well, uh, speaking of, of Yanko, hopefully we'll see a lot more of you in the following days, if, unless you decide to run off. You hate it so much that you <laughs> yeah. run off. But uh, we do have, uh, by the way, the finals coming up in a month's time. And the tickets are up for grabs if you, if you uh, were not aware. And the finals at the SSE Arena at Wembley Stadium. So pretty awesome venue. Pretty awesome venue. Of course, there just was some finals at the O2. We got to see the UK crowd, as Yanko was talking about previously. And if you're interested to, to visit and to spectate all the awesome matches that will be going on at the ECS finals, then there may be a package, as you can see there, which will be suitable for you, whether you want to spend a lot of money, a little bit of money, or well, take a bunch of friends with you, if you have friends. <laughs> where's, where's, the, where's the option for me? Okay. <laughs> That's why you're working there, Dan. Yeah. You, we are your friends, and Counter-Strike is your friend, Dan. Counter-Strike is my friend, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, swiftly moving on. <laughs> of course, uh, if, you, if you want to actually see how the progression is going, perhaps you, know, you only want to, to visit if, um, let's say, Envious make it to the, to the finals, which is looking a little bit sketchy for, not, right now. Not likely, them. not likely. Then you can visit csgoleague.com where we have all of our rankings. You can see everything that's going on with the European and the North American side of ECS uh, rankings or VODs and any news. So that is your, your go-to hub for information. On the other hand... Regard. If you want to see the scores yes. and some news, then where can you go? Well, it's funny you should ask that, Yanko, <laughs> because you can obviously visit the score eSports. And uh, you know, if, you just go, if you don't have it right now, just go to your respective app store for either Android, iOS, or Windows, Windows Phone. Um, That's Google Store, I think. Is that Google Store as well? Well, no, who even has those phones? I don't know. I don't know anyone with those phones. But if you do, you can if go you to your respective app store. and have a Windows Phone, then you can go to your own shop and download the, the score yeah. as well. That works as well. But it is time now for the, the Score Esports pre-game breakdown. And we've got Yanko here, so who better than to try to break this one down? NIP versus an ever-changing Envious. Yeah, an ever-changing, that's a nice way to put it then. Uh, I mean, Envious in really ter terrible form lately. Uh, lost, <laughs> lost ever changing. <laughs> also known as terrible. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, continue. Lost their uh, last five matches, I believe. So the last win they had was in the ECS against uh, Phase. In, in that uh, best. Oh, actually, I don't. I'm not even sure if it was in the. ECS. I think it was in the ECS. But never mind. Uh, all in all, really struggling uh, lately as a team to find their, you know, uh, footing and and individually as well as ever since the addition of Devil they've been like putting him towards that support role but he doesn't seem to be really comfortable there so yeah the, it's up to them to kind of you know reinvent the way they play maybe and uh, find a way to fix uh, their issues because right now you have to remember they still have to play the offline qualifiers for the major as well so they lost that uh, legend status too and, and they really need to find a way back uh, into the top echelon of CS. Yeah, and there's, a, I guess, a lot of points to be made due to you know, the maps that we have, but because you're not you know, going up into the green room or the, or the gallery, you're still here because you're casting. You can make all the analytical points you want to because you have all the time in the world. But the pistol round has to start. And it's going to be Envious on the T side, NIP on the CT side. NIP, the, uh, the T, T side of teams, generally speaking, especially on a map like this, but let's see if they can get a good start here on this CT pistol. The bomb will make its way easily into the A site. We'll have the retake here for NIP, and they've got only a couple of flashbangs, so no smoke for the retake, which is uh, unfortunate for them. Yeah, they're going to have to rely on, on uh, some headshots here to be able to make the, the retake, but uh, enemies have good positions. Yeah, they're just hiding out by main. This is why, where the smoke becomes very useful, because then the T's have to run out of main if you smoke them off or if you smoke the bomb, but still making those headshots here are the NIP side, but they're just down to pits against two, and he's not going to be able to do anything. Well played by Envious. Pretty standard piss around, all things considered. 
Yeah, I mean, it's interesting that Andreas decided to veto overpass instead of cash. I mean, they also play cash, but I don't think that anyone wants to play cash against NIP right now. It's it's their uh, best map, although they themselves claim that they can play uh, every map equally from the pool. So I think it's good for Andreas actually that they start on the T side because, you know, as, because they... Even now, obviously, they won the crystal one, but they can just take the pace of the game. They can maybe get off to a hot start, uh, win the, the first gun round, maybe even with some aggression. So, because we know that NFT is a really good team, side of team is very disciplined. As we see right now, uh, Envy is going for that uh, B bomb side and uh, managing to put the bomb down. NIP deciding to just go for some pistols, not, not buying armor, and Getright got his hands uh, uh, on an AK as well. That's pretty. Pretty baller. AK 47s, fairly useful. And considering that there's still a, a round to be kind of ecoed, it's going to be really nice if, if NIP can hold on to that. And I see no reason why they will lose it. I mean, Get Rest in the most defensive position, and uh, Forrest and Pip looking to get some sneaky frags and pressure. And maybe see some of the teeth on the site, but Forrest in there with a quick eagle kill. And to be honest, a really good opportunity for Pip to actually get a follow up there. So they, they could have really done more damage still and get rid of the AK for the next round. This is where it gets kind of tricky, right? Because they didn't want to buy armor, but now when you have an AK, why not buy the caliber? Yeah. But again, what will you be able to do with it by yourself? So ideally, what Getright should have done is save this round as well and just have a free gun coming into the first gun round. But we talked about it in the previous Astralis Dignitas game. That's just so boring then. So he's going to buy armor and try to go for a play, it seems, towards the B-bomb site. Yep, a $650 investment. I mean, he's he's going to have to make a couple kills. Oh, to he, get... he's just holding and they're going to flash inside their main to get some info and they don't oh. see anyone. So now they're rotating back towards the B-bomb site all the way, it seems, which is a pretty early rotate for them. I mean, if, if Get Right gets two kills, he's paid for the good. Luckily, it's just him. You gotta love it when players do that then yeah. as a caster, don't you? His name's so long! Look how long it is! This is Schopenhauer, it's... aka Hat, aka Dead Now. Dead Now, of course. It's a different, an interesting call. Now, here we go. We have Happy able to make the first frag. I, had to, I just saw his name, like, what is that? <laughs> it's like, all right, B, Vincent, all right, it's definitely Happy. Okay, good. Luckily, it's just him. You gotta love it when players do that then yeah. as a caster, don't you? His name's so long! Look how long it is! This is Schopenhauer, it's... aka Hat, aka Dead Now, of course. Dead Now, of course. Oh, well, look at the spray from Get Right there. Able to pick up a frag already, so one of the conditions is 50%. Like the achievements, 50, almost 50% unlocked. Fiber gets another one. So this is looking actually pretty sick right now. MBK gets the bomb down, but will the master won't feel like able to do much more. One quick kill. And turns out that GetRight's not only going to pay for his Kevlar, he's going to have a bit of extra money and they will win the round. So that's, that's pretty good. It's <laughs> pretty good. Definitely is. I mean, you could see NIP rotating early, trying to get some uh, information and, and stack a bomb side. But I think that uh, Envious, after uh, Happy got the initial kill, they should have just maybe grouped up, and especially after he dies, because they kind of went in one by one which gave a chance for get like the, the player get right killed first went in before the smoke popped that's a mistake and after what could have been a good start for envious now they're uh, on a force buy although they do have a lot of utility only one tech nine and four ak's yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how envious tried to to play this round it's always like i think you know kind of okay when you've got your one player on a tech nine because in some ways, it's actually beneficial to kind of run and gun. You can get be the first guy to draw fire and still be somewhat accurate at dealing with close range positions. So there's definitely a you know, strong effect that can be had with Devil, but he does have full nades as well. So you kind of De want him to toss the nades in before he commits to die. Definitely a strong buy for, for Envious. The, the, the player with Tech 9 can always just pick up an AK from a fallen teammate or a fallen enemy, and uh, seems like they want to get uh, some mid control and then go for an A split. So will it be successful? There are a couple players by Connector. The boost, this is really awesome. We actually see this in uh, North America quite often. I think it's, uh, I actually believe it's Complexity that do that a lot. But uh, this time doesn't get much here for the CT side of NIP. Private just <laughs> leaping over, happy playing Leapfrog. 
literally with him. And that's going to be now a three versus four here. Now only two players remaining for the Swedish side. Rabbit going in, able to take down Apex, finding the side of him. And there's a real chance here now for NIP, but it's tough. Freiberg needs quite the touch. He's got a player in A main to deal with as well. Can it's not peaking though, as he's very low. And get right looking to try to get something done. Interesting situation. Get right really needs to get some damage done here, even if he loses the round. He will get no further damage onto the enemies. And so their money is really weird now. I think they have to buy here. Basically, Freiburg might even drop a mass for, for his teammate. But yeah, again, we see that once you give up mid control, NAP was going for that passive boost, but Apex was just running towards highway really fast and they managed to, to pinch the players in, in the A bomb side before they could do anything from that boost in, in the connector. Yeah, but you're going to have Pit there able to take it the first time in mid. That's something he's, it's a position where he's very strong in this map. Get right is in some trouble, just just a little bit. So spot a bother there for Get Right. He will be eliminated after all. First coming in there with a nice bit of spray on the devil. Dropping the bomb as well. So the spot on the bomb, they know for sure now what is going on. And uh, Pit is waiting patiently behind the smoke. However, Forrest isolated and alone gets killed, but the flash in for Pit. He's gonna take a quick frag to the damage. Another one, a first from Pit. Great stuff there, pushing forwards with that flashbang. Beautiful. The support player of an IP shows everyone that uh, Sometimes he is he can bloody also, good. He can also kill people then. He really is very good at that, yes. You can see how Forrest was also running in through heaven. I, I think there was a flash before it, but the idea behind this was NAP wanted to, to go for the retake immediately, actually before Envias could even get the bomb down and before they could get to the bomb site. So they knew that all of the players were still towards that checkers area. And if they allowed them to get into the bomb site, it would have been a much harder retake since they were all coming from CT spawn. So a bit of a risky play from, from NIP, so to speak, but definitely paid off in the end. And then we're going for a flash boost. Yeah, the uh, good old B splits, but no weapon, well, weapons to really do this with. Some PT-50s playing it conservatively, but they have killed one player so far. Getting into some poor positions too, a little bit dangerous, but the bomb won't be planted. And that really is going to be uh, annoying for them. I mean... A little questionable play from Devil to try to go to CC while he was the bomb carrier as well. Imagine if he if his team actually got control of the site at that point and he pushes out to get a surprise kill, dies with the bomb down. Would have been detrimental to Envious, but uh, yeah, uh, the round uh, doesn't work the way they, they wanted it to and uh, NIP manages to, to get a bit of control going on with Envious now on a... Eco, basically, a couple of pistols and, and armor on the and devil. Yeah, and for me, the scary thing is NIP, NIP's T side. So if, if NIP have like a, just a decent, you know, an okay CT side, you favor them typically on, a, on the cash. They have quite the reputation here. Especially if they win pistol. That's when they're really scary. When they get off to a good start, they uh, uh, use the map really well with applying pressure on uh, different, uh, different parts then using that later on in the half, taking reactions from their opponents and just uh, basically being one step ahead of them uh, most of the time. Absolutely, they're one of those teams at playing advantages. Very fundamental aspect of Counter-Strike, knowing how to do that, not throwing them away. Now, just two Kevlars and pistols, of course, for MBK to Quasi, and hello. That is gonna be a nice little pickup from MBK. See you later, get right. Forest in now. To see if he can stop MBK shenanigans, but this is always very scary. Again, in this kind of situation, when there's untradeable kills, like with the Eagle, there's nothing you can do about those CTs. You just have to try to get the refrags, and that's exactly what's happening here. Forrest picking up yet another kill with 6 HP. Freiburg is doing a great job, and the bomb is down on the floor. And it looked like there was a lot of potential there, thanks to MBK, but it won't be anything in the, in the end. Yeah, also interesting position from Gap, right? Seeing as he was the solo B player to play it that passively. Because if they have a smoke, uh, they can get control of the site. I mean, it's safer than you wait for the retake. But yeah, when you see that they're that spread out, you basically want to hold an off angle, something where they can't pre-aim you. Maybe you get the kill or at least you get the info and then you can play to buy time for your teammates, etc. Yeah, Cheeky a... boost. A cheeky, cheeky little boost. Cheeky boost. I was waiting for it though. Kinda. 
<laughs> to watch both handles. Oh. There you go. Pickable. Yep, and the interesting thing there is that K3 maybe knows that he's there, but there's no no way to really stop him, and he's going to push over the top and just go for the, f the frag. That's so risky. But it pays off this time, and after losing get right towards B storage by MBK, that is, that's definitely a very needed kill. Yeah, he just went for a play there, single the five, so he's trying to play, flash into a main. This is the other guy. So, very, very strong advantage for NIP in his three versus two. M MBK is on four HP, Happy is full, but there's only a smoke and a flash remaining. Great entry though from Happy. That's a fantastic shot, but he loses almost all of his health in going for it. So you still can't favor it. the chances of Envious with Forrest on this bomb site. This should... Yeah, both of the players really low. This should be an easy round for Forrest. Absolutely. Last nades in. Forrest gets a, a very easy quick kill on the first player. Bomb is down as well. And he's just waiting a little bit there. Flash out. Exist peaks from heaven. Beautiful coordination and NIP with the 5-3. This is why we hail NIP currently as a team that looks much better, much improved. You see, as soon as they lose a player, they react to it. Yes, Fiber goes for a solo play, but they also flash in into A main. They're constantly reacting to things happening on the map, and you always need to be on your toes when you play against NIP. Sure, you can say that maybe that's exploitable if you get a man advantage. You just play it really passively and wait for them to come to you. But, you know, if you time it correctly, it's definitely the way to go. Because if you just sit passively in a uh, 4v5, the chances it's are that these right? are just going to yeah, overwhelm you. Absolutely. And this time Envious decided to just go for pistols, Posi into the A bomb site very quickly, very rapidly, and it's going to work out. The bomb goes down, the frag is down, even more damage being done. Now MBK has got his hands on superior weaponry in the AK-47 that he's holding on to. But lack of Kevlar on a couple of players, uh, it might be, become an issue. Great nade in from Get Right. That's MBK dead. That's the only rifleman dead now for Envious. That's not a good way to start this one off on this defense. So but surely everyone's dying. Happy playing the oldest trick in the book here. Waiting by door. Quick pop. Oh, what is that? Happy. Absolutely mental stuff with the P250. Can't get it done though. Cannot close. But it was an effort that is still being felt by NIP. I mean, some probably still trying to work out what the hell happened there. What a flick. That was a sick... Uh... Second shot from, from Happy right there. Great yeah. nade from Getray though. The MBK was the only player with armor and an AK and he had 40 HP. So for a grenade to, you know, uh, get 40 HP off, it has to be uh, on the money and definitely help them in that uh, retake considering it, it ended up being a, a 1v1. But oh, now right. Kenny S finally has an op. They have all the grenades as well and NIP's economy isn't looking that strong, so and we are still uh, with a chance to reset NIP here. Indeed, it's back to another slow play. And uh, you know, adding to your point earlier about you know taking the the risks um, when you have to you know make those plays and not just let the T's come to you with a, a man advantage. One thing that people forget as well is that you can make the this, you can find ways to make those plays less risky by playing good team play and timing and uh, proper, with proper flashes and so on. You can make those plays much safer, but Twitch comes in quickly now and Exist will spot a couple kills there from short. Third player spotted, that will be the one to kill Exist finally, but he's done more than his fair share of work and this retake situ uh, situation looks far better for NIP than some of the past ones. Bomb will go down, and with the bomb going down now, if NIP are smart, they'll realize that there was only one place to plant the bomb. So they should actually know exactly where the bomb is, which does help them a lot and how to deal with this situation. Apex with a few nades to delay. He needs to go for a kill here, probably. He's too late to go. Especially now with Gatlet, is on the flank. MBK is pretty low to do anything. Well, it looks pretty bad here for Apex. He's the one versus three. Finds the first player, the headshot connected. Second player is going to do the damage. Forrest winning the round there for NIP, and they go seven to three. They have lost quite a few players in the last couple of rounds, though, so surely their economy is, is dipping, but Envious uh, having just picked up... Oh, they, sorry, they didn't just pick up a round. My, my bad. Completely misreading that one for some reason. Either way, that's going to be the max bonus there, so that's $4,200, including the bomb plant for Envious. So they're not lacking money, they're just lacking rounds which, which seem to close. I mean, that was a, a 
bit of an interesting round and I peel at the uh, go away side completely. And I think it was, Exist's play initially was uh, really important, managing to put Kenny S out of play immediately in that door area with the AWP, then getting an extra kill. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that one, that yeah, crazy spray there from Devil. Just uh, managing to land those two headshots as well to make the life much easier here for Envious. So surely they'll be able to take a round finally. I mean, they have such a strong advantage here. NIP is probably just interested in getting damage. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure how their economy looks right now because if it's terrible, they should probably save that. Actually, looking at their economy right now, but uh, looking to, to go for it and uh, exist. He managed to get a quick kill, but he's down to 9 HP. I mean, both players are already quite low in that situation, so... Yeah, considering the money on Freiburg and uh, I think it was Getright, yeah, and Pit, they should have probably saved the two guns because you can drop one to, to Freiburg and uh, maybe one to Zest, but now they're kind of forced to go for an, for an equal, and the two players were low, so the chances of a retake were really slim. So the disciplined NIP we talk about kind of yeah. was a bit too eager to go for the retake there. Yeah, that seems very rare because usually that's the spot where, you know, you've got Threat was saying save. Like he's going to put the call in authoritatively to, to make the save. Maybe he got over, over you know, overridden by a player perhaps, I'm not sure. But so that's an unusual, unusual situation. And it's going to hurt an IP. It gives Envious a chance to get back into this. It's also good to see that Envious doesn't, uh, you know, still goes for those fast, aggressive plays towards mid, even though they lost a lot of rounds uh, in a row, basically. And it was a pretty good, pretty good execute. Uh, there's a lot of flashes going down uh, while the players are running out, but they are not getting flashed by them, which is kind of hard to pull off uh, doing it so quickly, especially towards the mid area. And it net uh, devil basically two easy kills, as we see in this eco round. NIP got information that NVS isn't on the B bomb side, but they already have control of A and are going to plant the bomb shortly. Yeah, and this is what you said that you like to see is just pushing everyone together on ecos like this, trying to get that one kill, iso isolate that one player. And uh, I mean, they did find the one player in BK, but he's he's not caught in the open. He does use cover to good effect to keep himself alive and waits for his teammates. And so it will be a clean round in the end. Well, pretty clean. Let's see how NIP adjusts now in the gun round. Are they going to play it more passively towards mid because NVS uses a lot of resources there or are they maybe going to, to fight for it and, and have an AWP on B? But they don't really have a strong enough economy for the AWP. Forrest decides to go for, a, for an M4 and all of the grenades. See that Freiburg is forced to play with a new MP. Okay, well, it will be a passive opening from from Envious. We have NIP though, taking a quick boost here to exist. Not going for the run boost. Interestingly, I wonder if Devil can hear anything from this position. They are being quiet. If they do it properly, he cannot hear anything because you can just shift ball or shift jump. On your uh, on your teammate's head, and uh, the opponents can't hear you once you jump, holding walk only when you land. Right, right. Okay, well we we do have uh, the envious push coming in slowly but surely. We've got devil going for the nades, pop flash in to get himself through onto NVK, and it's going to be Pit going down immediately. So great grenades. Pit basically basically got wrecked by them, but now it's down to exist. He's in this boost position, has to convert, and convert he will. Bomb is now down by quad, full control of the CTs. MBK gets a kill and get right in B, congratulations. But the bomb is on the other side of the map, good sir. Well, this was kind of weird. I mean, they push A with the bomb with a good execute. MBK still all the way towards checkers, with happy on in mid lurking as well, I mean... You need to secure the type of those guys before you can lurk and get the kill. I mean, it's okay, right, if you just have Happy there, like where he yeah. was. But MBK or just MBK. Yeah. I feel that I, I'm not sure how MBK got there. I, it's maybe what he did initially in the round, trying to uh, ha pin two uh, NIP players towards the B bomb site. But then Happy can't be mid. He has to be with his team. They need to secure control of the bomb site, and then MBK can be even more annoying you know, it'd make it harder for the B players to rotate. 
indeed. What is that smoke? Interesting. Well, either way, Apex in with a very fast Molotov to sandwich. There are NIP players in the vicinity. They are getting completely caught off guard at this point. However, the trade coming in from Freiburg now as assistance from Forest will help to kill Devil, removing this French presence from middle at the very least. And the bomb is dropped. So Kenius has to win these battles. First two kills coming in from Kenius. There's still one more player by Sandwich. Kenius is scanning for it. And Freiburg is going to swiftly deal with Kenny. And the bomb that means is still in control of the CTs for now. And Freiburg must have seen it. So Get Right has the call. And he's going to be wrapping around short to lend some assistance. And this is going to be an interesting, interesting couple engagements. Because there's a minute for, for Envious to kind of work, work their way to whatever position they want for this engagement. Get Right seems to have a read though. Boom, there it is, the first kill, leaving just 5 HP on Happy. Get Right's going to turn around and take him down as well. So, another you know, mid-aggression that this time just didn't work out. Yeah, I'm not sure about that smoke. It's not the one I think you throw to block the Molotov. It might be, it might block the vision if a guy tries, tries to push towards the left side of mid. But yeah, en Envious go again for, for the mid aggression, but uh, now NAP do a, a better job of holding it, especially Freiburg from the sandbags area. Kenny had to pull off a close miracle to, to win that round for his team. Love this run boost here to, uh, if there was an author on the angle, to make him look for shots for anybody, really. And it's Get Right there, go for the spray downs. Get Right actually uncharacteristically not pulling off much in the way of a result in this situation, but doesn't matter. Just happy left. And uh, okay, he's got the most savage P50 game in the wild, wild west, but he's, he's going to die anyway. Yeah, and. Uh... Good half for, for NIP, I mean a great half all things uh, considering that they uh, lost the pistol round of course, managed to win the, the, the third round on an eco with only get right on that uh, AK but uh, after that we could see that they really uh, picked it up and uh, with some uh, great uh, reactionary play to what Envias was doing as well. Envias at times maybe a bit um, too passive, especially when they manage to get the bomb down in, in uh, a couple of situations, they kind of uh, were, were at a disadvantage when you're in a 3v4, let's say, and the bomb is planted. Depending, in some situations they had low HP, so that, at that point there was that run round where Apex was the only one with 100 HP. He needs to go for a play, maybe have a teammate bait for him, because if you just uh, wait for NAP to come to you, it's basically going to be a pretty straightforward retake for them most of the times. Yeah, and I mean, that 10-5 is so scary just because NIP haven't even started their T-side yet. So, it's, I mean, it's, historically, you're just, you're, you would imagine that NIP should easily close this, even if they lose the pistol round. But, of course, if they win the pistol round, Envious just don't have any chance here, surely. But the pistol will commence. I mean, the reason for NIP's strong T-sides mostly stems from the fact them them winning the pistol round then securing the antique rounds, having a lot of uh, bank coming into the gun rounds, right? So even if they uh, lose one or two rounds, they still have enough money to buy. But when they actually lose the pistol round and don't have a good start, it, it becomes trickier. Yeah, and it's, it's quite cool to see that Forrest gets the headshot finally. He got dropped to the P250. So it's kind of a raid boss with the P250 there for Forrest, which is awesome to see. And uh, it's the first kill for NIP. They do take some tags here, but they will try to finish their rounds on the D bomb side. And there are three players here for Envious to try to defend. So it's gonna come down to those headshots. Nice little jump there from Pit to try to bait the shots away. And this looks like a, a very good pistol around here for NIP. I mean, you know, if you put any reliance upon them or any, let's say, uh, qualifying factors that they, okay, they gotta win the pistol round to have that super strong T side. But they've got some of the best players in the world to do that. They've got Forrest, they've got, I mean, Pit is actually an, an excellent pistol player as well. And uh, there you go. I mean, this could have been great for Envias. They had three players towards the deep bomb site in, in passive positions, albeit, but that's where NIP went. And they were in a 4v5, and you could see that when once the smoke drops, uh, the, the, the player from spawn is isolated. So what I would have want, liked him to do is run through the smoke, try and get one kill, surprise them, and bait for the player in... Uh, 
in headshot, right? And then the player from Heaven should, should have let himself be known as well. And then the player in headshot can be like the Joker player, right? So they can play for him. And then he has a good position to surprise uh, NIP and maybe get a couple of kills. By doing this, playing it passively, leaving him by himself, even if he gets a, a kill, I mean, he's going to get traded immediately and NIP has control of the bomb site. So maybe something that, that uh, NVS could have executed a bit better, but... Uh, NIP secures the pistol round and NVS, of course, on a force buy. Yeah. They, they kind of have to go for it, though, in this situation, right? They need the, yeah. they, they have to try and break uh, NIP, even though they're the best team at anti force buy rounds. And you can see why. They just buy a lot of utility. They only have one player with the AK. They have three MP7s, uh, a UMP, and you can see them methodically trying to get map control. And you can see it's obvious that they want to go for a B split. And they're probably going to use the rest of the Molotovs towards the B bomb site uh, for the, the most standard spots. And here we go. We've got Devil there looking to defend, but surely he gets an elite. Or well, it looks like Exist tries to take the battle with the AK 47, which is, you know, just smart. Smart if you're going to do it with the player. That's the gun you, you choose to kind of push that with. But it's not working out here for MIP. They're getting shut down. Can you? Finds two quick kills on the CZ. There's still a player on the bomb site. That is so scary. Do NIP realize that there's still another player? I don't think he's announced his presence. It's Happy, of course. Happy could just end the round right now. He's in smoke. Oh, but they will spot for him. Forrest getting the frag. MBK back to the leader shenanigans. Can he get something out of this? They're tagging there onto Forrest, but the bomb can be planted here, and it will be. Freiburg there. They don't have to really peek him, although it might be in their interest to do so, as they can get him at long range as opposed to close range. He'll have more success with that Deagle. MBK desperately trying to work his way into this, this bomb site, but these players just not giving him the, the kinds of shots that he needs to get in there. So now he's going to force the issue close. And there you go. Fin finally he dies. That looks kind of scary though for NIP, I must say. And uh, for those of you wondering how is it that NIP have been allowed to play cash, uh, Envy has decided to actually veto overpass and uh, NIP vetoed their usual Inferno, so that's how the cash pick came about. Yeah, a bit of a sloppier execution than usual from NIP, not, not waiting for all the smokes and molotovs to pop, but even with, with all of that and a couple of great kills from Kenny, oh, as we see Devil with a cheeky little P250 headshot, even with that they managed to bring it back, back and you can see that 2v1, how they're not overextending, not allowing MBK to get a 1v1 aim duel basically, and uh, they secured the round in the end. Yeah, so the, the chances here for Envious do drop significantly, just being on pistols, no Kevlar, no utility. And NIP deciding to converge onto that A site take, and they have four Molotovs with which to use. So we should expect to see the bombs like carpeted in these Molotovs to allow safe entry into the site. And there should be a fast response here from the, the pistols, but what can they see? Absolutely nothing. The key smoke laid down between the forklift and the red container to block off vision from short. The Molotovs onto the site, onto all the dangerous positions, and they're in now. One point doesn't have to happen as the CTs force the engagements, and with the superior weapons, NIP are able to easily clean up the, the, uh, the, the retake attempt. And this is the NIP anti-eco, right? Even though Freiburg gets caught off guard in the beginning with that kill, they just make it look so easy in a 4v5 by, by good uh, usage of their nades, baiting out the plant and just holding their positions, uh, basically waiting, waiting for NVS to, to come to them. Mm, the game is paused, Dan. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. What but, the hell is going on then? But Forrest is 25 for 10. Oh, okay. Apex crashed, it seems. So uh, he'll be back in about 10 seconds. So we should be resuming very shortly. Um, it's, but it's cool to see Forrest having such a good game. I mean, in, in, uh, in the 18 rounds that have been played, he's, he's made 25 kills. And, uh, and usually you actually would see these days Get Right and Forrest both, both up there, but... Uh, but yeah, right actually, I mean, whenever NIP wins a game, it's mostly everyone doing pretty much more or less the same. Probably Get Right or Forrest are, are a bit ahead, but it's pretty even across the board, meaning that it's, it's a team effort whenever they win. That applies not just to NFP, but team is in general. Like Mouse is, is an obvious example. So yeah. When Nico has like 30 plus kills, they usually lose the game closely. But when he has, when all the team contributes, they end up uh, winning. 
And this is something Getright is known for. Right now it's not just him, but getting control of checkers with that smoke off towards the exit, using the Molotov and the Flash, really putting a lot of pressure to the B defenders to always uh, be on their toes. But it seems the way Envy approached this is letting go of B bomb said pretty much just Kenny with a passive angle. Uh, he's supposed to maybe try and get one kill and, and then wait for his teammates to play for the retake. Well, we have that uh, that heavy pressure, as you mentioned, that Get Right is sitting in checkers. And the danger there is that Envious are always going to be scared of the B take, but NLP don't have to commit to it. I mean, of course, they're in a position where they seem to be waiting for the push. There it is, and Get Right easily dispatches MBK. Now they decide to move in. Of course, uh, you know, Envious have a lot of players in, pos well, in position around the bomb site, but uh, the presence of NIP is quite overwhelming on the site itself, and they will get the bomb plant and set the time upon the CTs. Now Happy's coming in for the flank. He needs to be the playmaker here. His teammates are locked out. Happy is anyone that can do anything. There's the first frag, goes for the spray, and someone walks into his pit. Two frags there for Happy. He's made this possible now as the advantage on the men goes in the favor of Envious, and the bomb was stopped from being planted. So now they'll hear the bomb go down, and they'll push. And there it is. The f oh, it looks like the flash timing was perfect there from Forrest, but, but unfortunately, I want, that must have been a coordination that he throws the... He, uh, just as the, the, the bomb is being planted, Forrest throws that flash because they know that they're going to push then. So that, that was really well, smart. He also probably thought that he has to make a play from this, uh, I think it was Xist or Pit. I think it was Xist who was pretty low himself. What I, don't un what I don't understand there is you had Kenny playing passively and then you just have MBK walking into vents and trying to check checkers without any flash or anything that gets killed by Get Right. I mean, what's the point on having Kenny as Kenny play so passive, he could have challenged at any point, held a more aggressive angle, but it doesn't come uh, back to haunt. And we as they still managed to pull the retake off with uh, two great kills from, from Happy. And now we will see the, uh, the, the set piece, which is reminiscent of the Cobble one, where it's, it's kind of delayed. So you know that, it, that, if, that, if, that they can just run into A with it. And this is, the, this is the reaction that usually teams will have, is they pop flash into a main to confirm whether it's going to be a push or not, and to kill the players who are, if they are there. But great rap here, great delay and rap from MIT to go to the split in a more unconventional manner. And Envious are really struggling to find out what the hell is going on at the moment. Kills coming in all over the place here, mostly here for MIP as they manage to finally close the round. But what a, what a beautiful, what a beautiful uh, chaos there from, from MIP set upon Envious. And Forrest with another triple kill. I mean, what you said, it's you, you, they themselves, Gatorade knows what the reaction is, that someone's probably going to try and pop flash. He looks towards the wall, actually doesn't even, just waits to hear the sound the cue before he turns around, gets the easy kill on, I think it was uh, Devil, and then NIP with a complete wrap to mid, but now they're going for a quick uh, mid push. Yeah, and not going quite as well as it was for Devil on the first half, if you remember, as uh, Gatorade is taking down immediately. But he's got teammates, in numbers to help him out and it looks pretty good here for MIP once again dealing with with uh, superior weapons envious not having the best uh best refrags and pit with a very decisive kill onto devil that is going to send things into despair as happy dies as well 15 rounds for nip and, it looks... and another triple kill for forest he's on 32 in 22 rounds and 11 deaths almost 3 to 1 kill to death ratio. I heard he's pretty good at this game. That's insane, Dan. That's pretty sick. Dan! That's insane, Dan! <laughs> I mean, NIP just showing. And this is something that we are seeing recently from Get Right. He sometimes is the guy who goes in first, actually. Like uh, he did just in the previous round through the, through the smoke. Uh, NIP manages to secure mid with an early push, knowing that Envias doesn't have a lot of resources, don't have probably the Molotov for. Uh, the boosts don't have an aid for mid, and they get the trade kills and secure the round. Yeah, and it's about get right going in first. It's a, an it interesting point there, but we might have a bit of a, an altercation here in the middle, as you can see there. Exist is waiting for Happy to go over the boost position. When will he go? Patience by both teams. And this is why you know, NIP can be quite, quite good as well, because they can get very patient in a round like this, and Envious desperately want to go for a push and it's going to be Forrest to get the first kill. So, life looking rather difficult here for Envious after losing that one player. It seems as if NIP you know, realized that there's a player close due to the fact that there was a boost. And it's like position, is oh, that snap again from Happy. Absolutely mental stuff. His snaps today have been pretty on point.
but uh, his team only has six rounds, so there is that. And he is now going to be receiving a push from NIP on the a bomb site. Great position here for Devil. Usually there's a Molotov in that position, but Devil and Apex get all four players. A quad between the two. And there's usually a Molotov there. But NIP didn't have a Molotov there in that round, and they lose the round because of it. Interesting. Yeah, you can see how they were playing pretty passively in the beginning, knowing that uh, Envious was on pistols and expecting some aggression. We got a one uh, for one trade, it was a 4v4 situation, but Envious get a good read, managed to get uh, uh, that, to pull off that boost in time towards the A-bomb site, and uh, the pistols are pretty powerful for Swain's then. Yeah, yeah, they really are. That's, that position is one of the reasons why we did see the Molotov there is because it is one of the most dangerous positions on the site because of the, the range and the kind of off angle that it's, that it's on. But uh, the push coming in here now from MIP on towards the B-bomb site, they have got a lot of rounds to play with and they'll have to actually eco if they lose this round. So that's actually going to give Envious something to kind of work with to come back into the match. But first of all, MIP must or rather, sorry, Envious must first of all actually break an IP. And IP already has mid control right now. In turn, MBK is pretty aggressively towards A main. But after this small so he basically has to fall back, has no support anymore, uh, no utility. And that will leave NIP in a, in a good uh, situation. Yeah, get right just keeping tabs there in that slow walk onto. The white box position as well, I think that's from Forrest, who's been quite prolific so far in this matchup. A quick double though from MBK to drop the bomb. Now this puts a really, this puts a really weird position into NIP's hands as uh, MBK gets himself a third as another one versus one goes his way. Forrest though, he's still alive and he's got two frags this round. Forrest <laughs> looking to actually just get himself as close to the 40 bomb as possible as he's looking for the rest of Envious, of which there are two. Now he has to reclaim the bomb, he's got 15 seconds, he needs to go right now, and here he is. Will he spot the first player, will he work out the Devil's in the door? Well, Devil's gonna tell him, as by shutting the door, and Forrest has gotta go for the plant here, there's really no way to survive in this situation, surely he's gonna fake it, go for the frags here. That was the play, but he can't get the first one, and that will be the round there for Envious, but he did lose three players. Now this was an example of a good 2v1 play from, from Envious. Uh, it wasn't really hard to play it out, but still, you know, buying as much time as possible, Devil letting him to pick up the bomb, but then him playing aggressively with Kenny playing passively. If Forrest plants, he dies from Devil and Devil defuses. If he doesn't do it, even if he kills Devil, he doesn't have time to plant the bomb and then we just win the round either way. And now we have NIP on an eco and Kenny on an op. I feel like I haven't really seen Kenny orping in this matchup. So far, really. They force by a lot, Dan. Yeah. If you didn't know, Envy <laughs> like to force by. Well, he's going to get uh, flashed and smoked away. He can't even shoot a shot. Will he just die? No. Pulls out the 5 7, able to keep himself alive for now. But it is the sight and control of NIP to some extent. Bomb can be planted at the back. And yet, will quickly dispatch exist. So, it should be the GG in this round. Forest, though, does come in from heaven to see if he can get some extra damage. Pistol Master. Of course, he can. Picks up a quick kill. That's so cheeky as well. That is so cheeky. Bomb goes down there for MIP as well to allow them a buy. I think that NIP is just prolonging this game so that Forest could get up to 40 kills. I think that's <laughs> their mission right now at the moment. His closest teammate does or, have or 17, maybe. and it's like that's so far away. <laughs> or maybe they just want to give Happy enough time to get a star then. Oh, is he? He's, he's not, he's not, he's not got a badge. He's not, the There's no sheriff badge. The only starless player. This should get smoked off from NIP. Usually, when they no go star. for a play like this. Here it comes. Kenny S yes, is going to be forced to a close range defense now. They know that he's close, but. They're trying to work out where he is, able to pick up a quick kill before he goes down there, but still nothing with the orc found, and it's uh, looking amazing right now for NIP. Four versus one, Devil in against it all, and he's going to try to reposition here, but uh, his chances are a little bit... Well, they they suck. They're not 0% then, though. No. They're, they're never 0%. You never go to full Moses, right? No matter what Moses says, there's always <laughs> a chance. An AK and a dream. 
and AK in the green. And there is the first kill that he will be traded upon, and that is map one going into the hands of the Swedish side, NIP, taking their map pick. But it is uh, it is the map pick, obviously, of Envious coming up next, which will be Mirage. And oh, three away from the, the 40 bomb there for Forrest. Only, only 37 kills. Only 37. Yeah, a, a monster performance from Forrest, definitely. But that last round, we saw the execute of NAP towards the B bomb site. That's exactly the round when we talk about maybe on the desk or, you know, when you see these crazy comebacks on the CT side, it's usually because the T's never go for a strat like this, right? They, they simply don't have it. It's a full execute strat, you use everything, and it's a strat that I think NAP probably wins four out of five times or something, right? You need to have strats like that when, when everything else is failing you, basically, and you just need that one round to somehow make it. This is something that you would want to go for because it isn't almost at all reliable on your player's uh, individual performance if you don't take into account that someone maybe misses a smoke but that really shouldn't happen right because you, you saw what, how the bomb site looked like where Kenny S was everything yeah. was smoked off uh, molotov off right even he can get that one kill because NIP didn't check the corner but he can't get any more than that he's is instantly traded and after that it, it's just up to NIP to play the after plant correctly and and secure the the, the round and we got the match highlights or the map highlights here for you and I feel like it's going to be just a mini Forest Frag movie. We'll have to see, as uh, <laughs> it was quite a crazy performance. But 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 it's, uh, for me, you know, like we all often see Forest all get right. If, if there are two players going off, it's usually going to be them because they usually put in the position to to do a lot of crazy stuff. And and uh, you know, one thing that's interesting, a point that I wanted to talk about previously, just briefly, is that. Uh, is that when it comes to get right entry fragging a little bit with, with this NIP lineup, I think that was something that always needed to happen because it, it was very easy, I think, for a lot of teams to read NIP before because if where you see get right, he was always playing luck. So if you see him somewhere on the map, you know that he's playing luck there. Exactly, and that's what we saw at Pro League, right? I think it was the game against Fnatic where they uh, played Train and they went for an outer fake and uh, Forrest was actually the guy faking outer because if he gets a kill or dies then they will think, oh, this is an execute, it's not Gatrite. Gatrite was actually the first player pushing towards B and he was the one pushing all the way to uh, the back of the bomb site and, and uh, securing route for his team and I think he got even like three or four kills in that round. So I agree that it's uh, maybe a, a switching of styles a little bit, maybe make it a bit more interesting, but also uh, mind gaming to an extent their opponents, right? Because as you said, whenever you saw get right somewhere uh, dying, that's probably not where his team is, similar to as uh, with Happy on, on Envious, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's a really good point. And uh, it is time for us to take a quick break to see if there can be a recovery for Envious on their map choice in Mirage. It's definitely a good map for NIP. I think generally all the, the maps here, are, I mean, NIP have a deeper map pool, but we shall see. Uh, we'll be back after the break.